so much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. Could you, uh, maybe drop, you fucking idiot? <gasps> What's the meaning of this? Who the devil are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies, but we've learned of a threat on your life, and the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. Where'd they come from? <laughs> Your Excellency. I like how I kill them all of a sudden there's two right there. Hey! Get back here with that Prime Minister! Thank you. What do you 
intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry! How about that? So, next episode we are going to be giving the lady an old tour of the slums. Let's get right into it.